Now in my own career, you know, I, when I was young, there was no uh, school for nonprofit uh, management. And I found myself learning from board members. And um, our board is a very uh, engaged board uh, made up of some very strong business leaders, many of them CEOs, uh, very strong community leaders. And I found myself learning a great deal from our board members. And I think that enriched our organization. And I see that happening here at Mendoza with a Masters of Nonprofit Management, where we really get the best of both worlds. We have people who know and experience, have rich experience in the nonprofit sector, but we also have faculty that come from the business perspective that enrich the program immeasurably. So I just think, uh, you know, it is one of the, if not the best uh, program in the country. Let's talk a little bit, you were talking about the, the keys to affecting outcome, and that's where you're knowing where you're going, you're on the right route with the indicators, and know the strategies that you're using will get you there. Can you talk to that a little bit? Yeah, I, I think first and foremost, uh, when we talk about outcomes, we have to understand that we don't give up who we are. It's not that suddenly we're going to run our nonprofit like a business and lose the human touch. Um, so I, I want to make that really clear. I mean, even in our own Boys and Girls Clubs, I mean, the last thing we want to do is make our clubs like schools. We want them to be warm. We want them to be inviting. We want relationships with staff and kids to be the main reason why uh, kids come. We want them to come often. We want them to have fun. But at the same time, uh, you know, these things are not mutually exclusive. You can learn and you can have fun, and we know how to do that in the Boys and Girls Club. And I, I think it's really important to understand that outcomes are critically important, but they do not mean that you can't uh, operate as you uh, naturally would in a nonprofit environment in the way you interact with uh, your club members or your patients. Um, so this doesn't change the fundamental heart and soul of a nonprofit organization. It shouldn't, and it is not mutually exclusive. A very key ingredient in, uh, in this new world we live in is leadership, nonprofit leadership, people who know and understand how to lead both staff, professionals, and volunteers to make a difference. So in, in this day and age, it's not enough to talk about anymore how many people you serve. You have to answer the question, so what was the result? What was the outcome? And that kind of leadership, leading an organization to a result, is more important today than ever. And it will be more important and enable a nonprofit to garner the resources it needs to get the job done. Because when you have the scarcity of financial resources and escalating need, the resources are going to go to the organizations that can demonstrate their effectiveness, um, and that have the leadership and the skills to say, here's the outcomes that I seek, here's my plan to get there, and here's how I'm going to measure it. the mentality of those who work in nonprofits that they um, that it's not just about helping people but it's also about working better you know not from a leadership but more from an employee level I think in, uh, the uh, professional staff and the volunteer staff of nonprofit organizations are there primarily because they want to do good. They have big hearts and they want to bring about positive change. And you know, for me, that's what drew me to nonprofits as well. I mean, I say this all the time, when I get up in the morning, I can't wait to go to work because I know I'm gonna make a difference. And then I go home at night and I think about what I did and I can't wait to get up tomorrow morning to go to work because I know I can make another difference. I think that's what drives people to the nonprofit world and I think the level of satisfaction they get about changing a life and saving a life 
um, is, is what they thrive on. And I think that is what it needs to be, but it's not all it needs to be. I think how we lead and manage and achieve results, we have to be, you know, uh, rather disciplined and very intentional in understanding what changes we want to bring about and what thoughtful strategies we can employ to make sure that that change does come about. So for example, in our clubs, high school graduation is a priority. What is clear to me about the M&A program is that it is a very progressive program. Um, it borrows ideas from business, it enables students to think in new and different ways, and it takes a leadership role where a leadership role is needed. And as a university here, I am very proud, and I know it's built into the core of throughout the entire university, uh, that uh, ethics is a part of the M&A program and in fact integrated into all aspects, both uh, courses that are required and courses that are elected. It is clearly part of the, the strategy here uh, at, in the M&A program and throughout the university. I'm very proud too uh, that um, the M&A program is really going to take a leadership role around social impact. Like ethics, they're going to make social impact a priority here for their students. It will be integrated throughout the M&A program, both in the core courses and in the elective courses. And it will prepare the students here to go forth, to go back to their communities, to go back to their nonprofit organizations, and to begin to implement the strategies that will enable them to get deeper and better results for their clients, for their members, for their community, because they will have had the experience of social impact here and its priority throughout their um, courses. So that's a real leadership role, a real commitment uh, from the M&A program, and I couldn't think honestly of a more important one at a very critical time in the history of nonprofits and in, quite frankly, in the history of the country.